Coming up on the show, we're going to be cooking up some chicken souvlaki in the kitchen at Sparta's. Also, some auto mechanics with Belanger Chrysler. And what was the best concert you ever attended? We'll be asking Clarence Rockland that question and more. And we're back in the kitchen here at Sparta's with Ali. Recently moved this past summer to your brand new location on Laurier Street. It looks amazing in here. Definitely an upgrade, definitely an upgrade for sure. And it always smells amazing at Sparta's. What are we making today? We're gonna be making a chicken souvlaki, oh, one of our signature plates. Man, where do we begin? I'm, I'm your apprentice. Okay, okay, sounds good. Well, we'll start here with this fridge here. All right. All the chicken souvlaki is under here. <laughs> this right here is the tongue that you pick up the raw meat with. This is the official raw meat tongue? That is it. All right. Well, it's because you want to avoid cross-contamination, right? Exactly. And, then and you it just goes put it just vertically there. You know, Just give it a little press so it's flat. Gets evenly cooked on all sides. Smells amazing already. All now right. What we do? I'm gonna just pop this there. Yeah. Well, this is family She's, owned, right? It is. Your whole family's involved. Yeah, but my mom is the uh, the secret. She's the specialty uh, in the kitchen. So now we're just waiting for the chicken to cook. In the meantime, we could prep the plate. Let's prep away. So the plates are all under here. Just grab one of these. They're prepped daily, so it's all cut fresh, everything's there. That's the dressing. What's all, in the dressing? It's also made in-house. We got uh, some vinegar. Oh, you're actually gonna tell me what's in it? Why not? Okay, vinegar? Some vinegar, we got some like uh, Lebanese thyme from back home. Mm -hmm. We put some uh, salt, not too much, you know. Uh, there's the thyme, salt, vinegar, and then we got olive oil in there too. And then we mix it with a bit of like the red wine vinegar to finish oh. it off, yeah. Gives it a nice little kick. But here, this is also made in house, so you gotta shake it right before you okay. pour. There you go. Notice how I put my finger on top? Yeah. Because if I wouldn't, guess what? <laughs> We'd have to clean the ceiling for yeah. sure. So, oh yeah, you gotta. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I thought I was. So just a drizzle, right? Just go in circles all around. Keep going, keep going. You gotta be generous. Well, that's there one thing go. that I've noticed here at Sparta's, you are extremely generous with, the with your portion sizes. <laughs> you wanna make sure people are, are full, right? Yeah, that's one of our main complaints is we put too much in our plates. People actually complain about that? Uh, that's a little joke, I guess. Nowadays, when you go to most restaurants, you look at the, at the plate and you go, that's it? Yeah. Can I have another one? Then again, <laughs> from experience. <laughs> so now the rice is always kept warm in the steamer right here. Okay. So you could just take the lid off. Are there any certain spices in the rice? There are. See, that's another one of my mom's secrets. I don't know what she puts in there. You know, do you think, do you think if I, how could I butter up your mom to maybe get her to reveal any of the secrets. Does your mom like compliments? She loves compliments, but okay. she's pretty, uh, she, she, she won't give the secrets of that's right. for sure. Is that enough or too much? So not enough. So not gotta, enough? Are you kidding me? You gotta put a little there, yeah. All right. Try to keep it out of the salad and then put like another half scoop. Wow, talk about being generous. It's a little more than half, but I'll tell you when to stop. Right there is good. Look at that. Well, there you go, it's getting that nice little gold color. Spices so now, on the uh, on the chicken. What's on it? Yeah. That also has some vinegar, Lebanese thyme, that has some garlic salt, and it's uh, marinated in lemon juice overnight. Overnight? Yeah, so we squeeze fresh lemons and it sits in there. So no, uh, no secrets belonging to mom here. No, 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 no. The oh, lamb, okay. it's the lamb that has the secrets, but 
So now that we flipped it, it's time to put some potatoes on. You put two of those. Oh, 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 oh. Seasoned potatoes. Seasoned with? We got some of our famous Greek dressing in there, soaking the uh, potatoes. And then we put some uh, Lebanese thyme again. Now, try to get the uh, potatoes on the flame. We have that part of the grill off. So, so And right we start here. it on the face down. Face down? Yeah, there you go. See how quickly the back cooks? That's the reason. There you are. So now we'll wait for that. What else do we got? So now you can just grab a piece of bread. Either or, we have the Greek one, which uh, you have. To, it involves a bit of cooking. This one? Yeah. So this involves some cooking. I'm up for the challenge. All right. So now, the potatoes we gotta frequently flip so it doesn't burn. Okay. The bread you could put at the top left corner. Bread, top, top left. left corner. There you go. Ooh, there's, how hot would this be? Because this probably be about 300 degrees. You can feel it. So flipping the uh, patats. That's it. There you go. It's getting its nice little gold color. The bread, you gotta keep a close eye on it. It cooks pretty quick. Give it about 20 more seconds and we'll flip it. The chicken's coming along pretty nice too. It's all about taking its time, right? Yeah. I imagine if if you rush it, obviously it won't be cooked properly. But if you take if you take your time, it's cooked with love, right? Exactly. That's a problem nowadays with restaurants. Is everything's frozen, microwaved, and out the door. Everything's here. fresh here, fresh, right? It's part of cooked from scratch. Yep. Exactly. People have to wait a bit, but it tastes a lot better. That's true. And of course, with mom's secrets involved, That's right? It. You can never go wrong. Never. So we can flip that bread now. You see that? Oh, that doesn't take long. Nope, not at all. And I am so tempted, so tempted to sample, but I'll wait again, right? Take your time. Exactly. Take your time, the wait will be worth it. And the bread's ready to come off the grill. So right on the wax paper? Yeah, that thing gets really hot, so that's why we time everything. Well, cooking yep. is about timing, right? Everything, yep. So now you're going to roll it. Let's see your rolling skills. Oh, I don't know about <laughs> that. And I'm just rolling it? So slide the bread right to the bottom of the paper. Okay. All right. Now with the paper and the bread, you're going to roll them together. Oh, here's the challenge. I don't know if I can do this. There you go. Keep going. You're doing just fine. Look at that. You looking for a job? I don't know, maybe. Do you think mom would be proud? Only problem is... It's hot. Holy! <laughs> All right. There we go. Do you think mom would semi-approve? Uh, you're almost there. It's a little loose. Almost there. Almost there. But for a first time. For a first time, it's great. All right. Mom would cut me some slack. Oh, for sure. She, she probably it. wouldn't cut you slack, but moms, when it comes to their sons, eh? Yeah, yeah they're a little harder, for sure. Yep. No, the potatoes are definitely ready. Nice and crispy now. Anyway, flip them or? Just place it, uh, not there, so like along the bottom, yeah. There you go. Okay, now once we're done, we're gonna have to dip the meat into this right here. And what is this concoction? This is another one of my mom's uh, secrets, but I believe there's some garlic butter in there with some lemon juice and you believe a little bit of uh, seasoning. She won't tell me what the seasoning is. Are you kidding me? Your mom won't tell you anything. Nothing. Just using her recipes. Do you almost feel like you're left out? Sometimes. Do your siblings know what the secrets are? No one knows. Not even my dad. What? Not even your dad? No. All right. Shouldn't take too long. It'll be about a a minute or two. All right, let's flip it over and check it out now. Uh, Still? Just a couple more minutes. We'll put it on the hot spot right here because it's cooked all the way through. We just got to get it. Hot spot here? Yeah, there you go. We just got to get it that color. So right now it's cooked the whole way through. You can hear that sizzle. Oh. It's a nice little sound, eh? It's a great sound. Flip it around. Yeah, you just drop it right in. Yeah. Oh, man. Let it soak. Now, you're going to lift the plate. 
to the butter. Okay, now I'm curious. Okay. I want to sample some of this. For sure. Don't tell your mom. I won't. Only a mom could make that. That's Only crazy, a mom. Right? <laughs> All right, so it's taking a, a bath in so now, secrets belonging to mom. There's something in there melting. Do you see that? Every time you dip the chicken in there? Yeah, what is that? I have no idea. Again, mom's secrets. That's it. So now what you're going to do is you're going to open that plate. And then you're going to lay it on that rice right there, that perfect slot for it. And there you go. That's a chicken souvlaki. How does that look? That looks phenomenal. Chicken souvlaki perfection. Here at Sparta's, don't forget, brand new location. They're open on Laurier Street. Pardon my fingers, but. Mmm. That's good. Well, we're in the shop here at Belanger Chrysler. I'm obviously not Chris. I'm the apprentice Chris with the real Chris. And today we're changing what? Like a rear latch? A rear liftgate latch. Okay. Why do we need to change it? Uh, customer's complaint is it doesn't lock the vehicle anymore. Which means so, someone could easily break in. Yes. Anything could be removed. It's, it's a safety issue. So as per customer request, we'll replace it. Make sure everything works perfect after. And one thing to keep in mind here at Belanger Chrysler, you guys service all makes and models, right? Yes, yes. We work on Dodge, Chrysler, Ford, GM, any import. They're all the same. It's a vehicle's a vehicle. It's... So other than you and I sharing the boldness, do you think that I could get away with it? Well, I, think I think I so. could get away with I the look? Except for the toes. Uh, well, there you, you go. need some steel toes on, but there you can you get go. away with it. So where do we begin, Chris? We're gonna begin by removing four screws here. The screws where? Right up in here. All right. So do you need good vision here? Oh, look at that. Who's the apprentice now? Oh, everyone's gotta hold the light every now and then. All right. Are you sure these are gonna come out? There's one. You guys do it old school here at Belanger? Some days, yeah. For plastic trim we do, so we don't break anything. It's... Well, I cannot be held responsible for my unscrewing ability, <laughs> although, so far, so good. So far, so good. And I spoke too soon. Let's move oh. your screwdriver this way a bit. There you go. How long have you been here at Belanger, Chris? 14, 15 years. You've been with this building? All last one. The last one? Oh yeah? Oh yeah. Now unfortunately you do have to take things apart and put it back together. Yes, properly as well. So all that we'll on hang the... on to this. Next, we'll remove another trim panel. I'd like to grab your side. We'll go for the inner one here. All right. So on your side over there, you'll just go in and what then pry down. You make it seem so easy. Right in here. Sure. All right. And this one just pops out. That. Pull down at the same time. Sure. Obviously strength that I'm lacking. Wow. You make it seem so easy. <laughs> All right. You don't want to be held liable. So what's the name of this handy tool? Yeah. Does it have a name? Plastic trim stick, I guess. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> That's the exact name. Sure. Want to grab a handle? Sure I do. So does this just pop? Oh, it just pops right pops out. Pops off. We unplug. All of this to replace the latch? Yep. It's a big job. All right. So this is what we're removing right here. Yep. 
Some starters. All right. That's out. There you go. You notice you're not even giving me any direction. No, no, you're right? doing perfect just, at it. Yeah. You see the bolts? Okay. That's it. There we oh. go. There we go. I'll take that. If you want, we can unplug it. There's a couple electrical plugs on the back side. See, I would always be afraid that I'd break something here. Eh, easier if you turned around and looked at it, though. Well, of course it would. I was just testing you. So if you look, you. there's a lock tab right in here. All right. So if you push that in, and then pull out. Oh, use the handy dandy. So just pop it in. <laughs> oh, yeah? That, that. Nope. Nope. Let's see. Yeah, You're the right. expert. I will supervise. Oh yeah, just like and that. And that one here, you can pull on two tabs, it'll long... And one you more. make it seem so easy. Ah, so after a long weekend, everyone's fresh. So a job like this, for you doing it, how long would it take you to do? Could you do this in what, 20 minutes? Ah, 15? 20 minutes, give or take. Uh, 25 after you wash your fingerprints off. The so this is, and... this is the faulty piece. Yep. Replacing it with a brand new one. Does it have the brand new smell to it? You know when you... It does have a brand new smell to it. Straight out of the box. You know? Yeah, I notice a difference. <laughs> a big difference. So we'll plug that back in. There's no pins to push. Just plug them in. Oh, oh, wrong side. Wrong side. Wrong side. We'll go in from here. But it'll be easier if you plug your plugs in first. Oh, okay. They're electrical. Then you can see. Let me just hang that there. So this goes in. See, this is where yeah. I would be completely messed up and something would explode. So walk me through. So easier though if you hold it down first and then put in your electrical plugs. That way unplugged. These so guys here. this plugs yep. into here. Yep. Turn it counterclockwise, one quarter turn. Yep. Straight down. Click. And nope. this. There's this guy here. Yep. Goes to the upper one. That's our light. So right this up goes in here. right in there. So when you hear a click, you know it's worked. That's it. Now we'll put it back in the hole. Line it up with the three holes. Oh, you're upside down though. Of course I'm upside down. My life is upside down, so. Yep. Then you get it lined up, start the bolts by hand. So on a scale of one to five, one being terrible, five being perfect, so far? So far you're about a four. We've got to make sure the job's done correctly here first. Now, are you <laughs> saying that I'm at a four because you and I share the baldness? Is that it? Like brothers sort of supporting brothers? All bald people got to stick together. Well, there you go. One's in. One's in. Two, and then three. Do these latches go on a regular basis or is it just wear and tear Chris? Just wear and tear. They're not uh, the most common item. All right. Well, tighten that back up. Did you switch it for me? Oh, nope. Push on the upper half. On the upper half. Yeah. Oh, we're good. We're good. Put the panel back on. We'll try it out. See, when you put the panel back on, to me, it's like a puzzle. I wouldn't even know where to begin. You line everything up, right? Yep, you got a bunch of pins. Yeah. You see little holes as we go. Really? You'll be the expert at this. I certainly won't be. Hold 
Oh, no. Nope. Did I mess something up already? No, nope, not yet. So not yet. bring it in. So when you're saying <laughs> not yet, are you assuming? <laughs> no, never assume. Assumptions are always wrong that I'll mess something up. <laughs> oh, bring it down so we can see. So what am I looking for? Is it supposed to click in? Yeah, if you look on your sides, yeah. you have those little yellow pins. I don't see any pins. Bring it down, take a look inside. Oh, they're going in. They are? See up of course here? they are. You have a white pin? Yeah. Yellow pin? I think we're off by one. No. No. Nope. And then, our four little screws. Oh yeah, we're doing it old school, right? Doing it old school. Chris, if money wasn't an option and you could own any type of vehicle, what type of vehicle would you love to have? I'd have to stick with Dodge. Really? Why? <laughs> I've just grown up with them. Are you a truck guy? I am. You have to be a truck guy here at Belanger, right? Uh, we're out in the country. We service all makes, like I said, so. Oops. <laughs> See, to me, I find this to be easier. This is like the trick. <laughs> what do you drive, Derek? I drive a Hyundai, as some people call it. Actually, you did work on my vehicle. Oh, that's true. We did some tires. Yeah, you did. Hmm. Overall service? Well, seeing that you did the work, Chris, and you and I share <laughs> something in common, pretty good, I would say. And I don't think this is going in. Oh, perhaps? No. So we're doing latch surgery in a way, replacing this latch. How many mechanics do you have in the shop here at Belanger? Uh, we have three licensed techs and two apprentices. There we go, you wanna check it over? Oh, we got one more panel to put on first. Sure we have one more panel. You guys get like, Breaks after every job, or not quite. No, no, no. We get a break uh, at lunch, afternoon, but so this should just pop in, right? Yeah. So when I hear it click, that's good. You give it a little tap, it'll pop right in. There you go. Like that, and that's it. That's it. So we're all latched up here at Belanger Chrysler. You want to try it out? Let's try it out. Does it reopen? No. Right in the center. She's pretty solid. That's solid too. Perfect. Let's try opening it though with an unlock. Here comes the final test. I heard a click. Did it work? Say a pretty, uh, pretty good job. Not bad. Good work for your first job. Well, thanks. What else do you want to do? What else can I do? Well, we could do some tires. You can do tires. Want to do dash work, uh, electrical? Uh, I have a long list of work here to be done still. I don't know about <laughs> the electrical. Can I take like maybe a 15 minute break and get back to you? Sure. I'll give you 15 minutes. We often see things on Facebook from people posting saying we need this type of business in Clarence Rockland and that type of business. Here is the challenge that we're putting out to you. Of course, money is always an issue, but let's say money wasn't the issue. You get handed a $1 million bill. And with the $1 million, you get to open whatever business you want in Clarence Rockland. What business would you open and why spending our $1 million? 
I would open up a business for abused animals because there's not too many around here and there's a lot of abused animals around that could use some safe haven. Definitely a high-end restaurant because I find that we have a lot of burger places and pizza places in Rockland. But if my husband and I want to go out for dinner and not spend, like not a five-star restaurant, but just want to spend a nice evening, I find we need, we're lacking that in Rockland. Now, what would be on the menu? Steak, maybe seafood? Both. <laughs> yeah, surf and turf, surf. Yeah, surf and turf. <laughs> surf Home Depot. Because the business around here, some are too expensive and they haven't got as much choice. Starbucks. And why Starbucks? Because I love coffee, good coffee. Well, we already have Tim Hortons. It's not Starbucks. And why isn't it Starbucks? What's what's missing? Uh, the flavors of the coffee, the brew of the coffee, dairy-free. Dairy-free options, which they do not offer at Tim Hortons at all. For people with allergies, they have a lot of alternatives. And that's the reason why I would go with it store, uh, farm boy, because I find there's a lot of uh, organic stuff there, uh, food, uh, veggies, uh, fruits, and I know they have a lot more than what other stores have in here in Rockland. And even though farm boy isn't really all that far away, mm -hmm. you still think a farm boy would work in the city of Clarence, Rockland? I think so because we have a lot of people, it really grew in, t in 18 years. I, I'm here since 18 years and I find that um, like all Morris Village and then they're putting up condos at the Gulf and then there's the other, on the other side there, they have um, another project going on, I'm not sure the name, but there's a lot of uh, store, uh, not stores, but uh, a lot of people, new people. And I don't think we have enough store, uh, stores for groceries and especially organic stuff. I like uh, the natural stuff, if possible. <laughs> That's it. I would open a um, film studio, a actual, an actual place where we can film stuff, uh, not only for uh, local productions, which we don't have any of, but uh, for uh, American productions that are in Toronto, in Montreal, Ottawa's got nothing and nothing. And trust me, I work in a the business, there's nothing in Ottawa. So it would, you know, uh, it would uh, bring American productions, which have the money and they always need the space because there's always they're always shooting. Unlike Canadian productions that are only shooting in uh, April and May. So yeah, that's what I would bring to Ottawa, also uh, to Rockland. Also, we have lots of space for a big giant studio, maybe two, three play, three uh, studio places. Maybe a big restaurant. And what would you serve at this restaurant? Um, high quality food uh, with good service. And you don't think we have that already in Clarence there Rockland? Is, there is. There are, there are restaurants and uh, they're fairly... Uh, but there isn't a restaurant that would compare to uh, like Moxie's or other places that, that are higher quality. What would be on the menu? Would it be steak, seafood? I'm a steak guy and the seafood, yeah, that would be probably the, uh, because I'm hungry right now, that's why I'm thinking of restaurants. <laughs> Home Depot or Lowe's? Now, we already have Rona, we already have Canadian Tire. Do you think we need another similar business here in Clarence Rockland and why? Because uh, Lowe's and Home Depot have more selection and the price is better. I would open up a, a, a home for people with, uh, with disabilities, um, more uh, mental disabilities, and uh, then try and integrate them back into, uh, into the society. So it would be a place where anybody could show up and uh, they'd be taken care of. You're handed a million dollars to open any business you want in Clarence Rockland. What business would you open and why? I would open the weed business because that's the place to go now. <laughs> Everybody's going to get into that business.